So I'm going to give you guys a little rundown on how I would do a laser engraved piece of acrylic glass. So I'm going to do the wildcat, um, which would be like engraved onto a piece of acrylic. So just to give you, actually our wildcat we did for Robot Rumble, which is a little bit of a, it's a slight variation of um, our traditional wildcat. So I'm going to pull up a picture of what that looks like. Um, it's kind of like this. So very important for the laser is to understand is that it doesn't do color. So um, the first thing you really kind of want to do is make sure that you find um, a grayscale or a black and white version of any logo or picture, or if it's even a um, like a photo taken with your camera. Uh, make sure that you remove any of the saturation. Um, that means any of the colors. And you can do that using Paint or Microsoft Word. Um, if you bring the picture in and you remove the saturation, uh, make sure it doesn't have any color and it's only grayscale or black and white. Okay, so that's what I did. It can be a uh, a ping, Photoshop, it could be a JPEG, um, but generally those two file types are the best to work with. So I saved this to my desktop. Um, if you go online and you search um, pictures, uh, my recommendation for searching pictures, um, if I search uh, like Wildcat um, logo, I generally put black and white as my search term after it, um, and that'll give you a lot of good logos and images that are um, generally without color like this one has a little red in it that's not good but um, you you always want to do stuff that has only um, black and white okay so once you have that you're gonna save that to the desktop or wherever your um, whatever device you're working on so that you can easily access it so once you have that then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, whatever you're working on whatever you're doing you're gonna want to start working in fusion so I'm gonna make a sketch, and um, so that I know, you know, you know what shape I'm gonna work with. I'm gonna bring in my picture. Um, you can do that on a canvas. So that's what I'm gonna do. This little picture here under Insert it says Canvas, and then I'm gonna insert from my computer. So remember, I put that on my desktop. Um, it's called Wildcat, and I'm gonna open it. Now, when I hit Select, I'm gonna pick the face of I don't have any any model in here. I don't have any geometry. If I did, I could pick the face of a model or the face of a, of a solid and, and it would work, um, but I don't. So I'm gonna pick this sketch. And um, I don't re necessarily know how big this is until I start to actually physically grab it and, and change the size. Um, so it can kind of tell you how large that is. Um, so, yeah. Um, what you could do, actually, I'm going to undo that, is let's say you did have an idea of like how big you wanted it. Like, let's say I was making something and I wanted my, um, my face of my Wildcat to be about three inches by three inches. I could start with like a three by three square like this and then put the canvas onto that. Um, because I really didn't know how big that Wildcat face was when I was putting it on there. So... Um, at least now, you can see when I put it on there, I know it's about three by three. So that's probably a better idea to start with a square that's about three by three so you know how big that that, that face is gonna be. All right, so I could engrave this onto a, a rectangle, but maybe I wanna trace it a little bit and make it, you know, the shape of the wildcat head. Um, so if that's the case, then now I'm gonna delete my, my rectangle because I don't want it to cut a rectangle, I just want it to cut um, the shape of the face. So I could use a, a variety of tools here. Um, lines, arcs. I do like the spline. The spline tool is an irregular uh, shape curve. So if I click and I continue to click points, I got to zoom in, um, you'll see that this curve will follow all of these clicks that I'm creating. And it'll make a smooth line, or I should say a, a smooth curve, through all these points. And then when I get to the end, because I don't want to make a sharp turn with a spline, so that's the end, I'm going to click this little checkbox, and that's done. All these little green um, lines are not actually a part of the spline, they're just ways in which I can manipulate it or change it. So I'm going to press escape. Um, if I don't like where my spline is, I can click and drag these little endpoints, and I can move it. 
and adjust it. So I only just did the top of the ears and I can continue with my spline and start at the end point and I can zoom in and I can just kind of walk my way around the shape of the of the wildcat. And this can go pretty quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a matter of how perfect you want it to be. Now again, the laser is just going to burn little dots onto the surface of the plastic acrylic, which is going to cause a change in how the light reflects or um, refracts, which will um, give you the illusion of the image on the surface. You've probably seen this in um, GIFs and things that are engraved on all the um, different products you can buy that are engraved. All right, so again, I don't want to, you can fast forward this video and I'm sure you get the idea of what I'm doing. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to undo. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Just for the for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to um, just do the top of the ears. Uh, I think you saw what I was doing. Um, I'm just going to do a, a simple, do one of those. <laughs> just to get an idea of what I'm doing for this demonstration. So I got the top of the ears and I got a nice little arc to kind of fill in the bottom. All right, I'm going to finish my sketch. And uh, what I'm going to do is, since the acrylic is 0.125 thick, um, I'm going to extrude this to that thickness, which, where's my distance here? Oh, there it is. 0.125. So if I twist my world a little bit, you can see the thickness of the glass is now showing, and my image is there. And believe it or not, I don't care about the image on this particular file. I'm going to bring it into another file for engraving later. I just needed the image for my tracing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save again just because um, I made some changes since my last save. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to generate the DXF file that's necessary for laser uh, marking. All right. So I'm going to go to my design. I'm going to go down to where it says drawing. These steps are very important. So um, go ahead and go to drawing and go and click from design. Over here where it says sheet size, change this to A and say OK. Give it a second. It's going to pull up basically like a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper. Now in this piece of paper, you're going to see a border. Don't click anything yet. You're going to see a border and you're going to see a title block. Now don't click in place. This is basically creating a drawing of the front view of what you've just created. Um, if you don't if you see like the side view or the top view, then, then change the orientation until you see a front view of your object, okay? Um, change the scale to be one to one because you want it to, to cut or to be the real size. And then when it's one to one and you see a front view, okay? your front view might be a left view depending on where you drew it in space. You need to see it as the real size, real shape. Click and then say, okay. So basically now you'll see a, a profile of the shape of your um, acrylic glass, okay? Now, um, we don't want to um, print or cut on a laser this title block. So you're gonna go over here to sheet settings and click this little arrow, and you're gonna click the eyeball next to sheet size and next to title block. So it turns off these other features. Basically the laser is like a printer and it's gonna print this but it's going to cut it. So now um, you are going to find a USB drive, um, some sort of a, uh, a flash drive, and you're going to click output, and you're going to output the sheet as a DXF. Name it with your last name or first name so you know what you're, you know, you're able to find your file. I'm going to name mine Geist. I'm going to plug a flash drive into my computer right now. It shows up as USB-E. I call it Geist. 
And then I'm also going to save, this is really important too, my file that I um, downloaded from the internet called Wildcat, um, which is on my desktop. I'm gonna copy that file and I'm gonna go to my USB drive and I'm gonna paste it. So there's the two files, my DXF that has my geometry from the um, Fusion file and my image. I'm gonna bring this USB drive with these two files over to the laser and go through those procedures to cut. All right, and that's a separate set of steps, but you've gotten through probably 90% of um, what's necessary to get ready to cut. All right, awesome, thanks for watching.